But this might be one of the more satisfying things that we've made on this channel in a long time. It's, uh, it's some basic, simple ferrofluid. I'm gonna show you how to make your own. Let's get to it. Oh, hands on deck! I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally like years, man. Vashti. Ferrofluids have been around for quite some time and are even used by the likes of NASA to study some pretty crazy stuff. But they're also simple enough that with just a couple of basic things and, and then and a magnet, uh, you can you can actually make some ferrofluid at home. It's it's pretty simple and, and not too difficult. You'll just need a little vegetable oil and some uh, tiny pieces of iron. Now there's a lot of different places that you can get iron. Just about anything magnetic will work and you can file it down into some very small tiny pieces. Or you might check with your local machine shop they might be able to supply you with some iron filings once you have the fine iron powder we're going to add that to the vegetable oil and mix it all up and boom voila ferro fluid super simple and super super fun as well That's So one other very important tip, uh, be very careful not to get the ferrofluid on the magnet. You, you wanna keep them separated with something. I, I'm using a Petri dish, it works out really well, but anything, a, a plate, a bowl, just something to keep the magnet separate from the ferrofluid because boy, those iron particles get on the magnet, you're never gonna get them off. There you go, something very simple, but very fun and, and, and just awesome to play with. Uh, it's super cool to check out the different types of magnets and see how the, the field lines show up. You're actually seeing magnetic field lines, which is super cool because it's an invisible force that you're you're actually able to see with the, the ferrofluid. I mean, that's cool. And besides that, I mean, magnets are just, they're just a ton of fun to play with. And now you have a way to see the, the fun that makes magnets awesome. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, maybe you'll be inspired to make your own ferrofluid at home. Something fun to play with and uh, you know, it's an easy fun project you can do with the kids as well. But I hope you enjoyed it and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for uh, clicking that subscribe button down there too. Make sure you leave me a comment, let me know what you wanna see. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.